Okay, now for question number 15 from IGCSE Winter 2007, Paper 2, Cambridge International Exams. Um, this question has been requested for me to answer. It's a question about vectors. It tells us that O is the origin, O to A is the vector A. So all the way from the origin, which is at O, up to A is the vector A. Let me just make this a bit thinner. So all the way from there to there is the vector A. And all the way from O to B is the vector B. Okay, so the vector A is all that distance there in that direction. And the vector B is all that distance there in that direction. Okay, so C has a position vector a third A plus two thirds B. Mark the point C in the diagram. Now to understand this, you have to understand what the word position vector means. Now the position vector of a point is from O to that point. So the position vector of C means a vector from O to C. Okay, so we've got to think about how to get from O to C. Well, it tells us that to get from O to C, you start at O, so you have to start here, and you've got to go one third of A and then two thirds of B. So one third of A, well A is split up into, as you can see, six parts here. Two, four, six. So one third of that would be two, two parts along. So that's one third of A. And then from there you've got to go two thirds of B. And B is also split up into six sections here. So two thirds will be four of those sections. That's one, that's going to be one section, two sections, so that's going to be, you've got that point here, this is where C is going to be, it's going to be this point over here. Okay, so there's C, that's the point C in the diagram, and then it says, write down in terms of A and B the position vector of the point E. So the position vector of the point E means a vector from O to E, that's what it means, O to E. Okay, so O to E, so E is at this point here, so to get to E you've got to go, that's three squares along the direction of A, which means that's a half of A, because A is made up of six squares, that's going to be a half of A, okay, and then you're going to go from there, two squares along, which is like one section, um, one third of B, because it's made up of six sections so two two parts out of six is one third so that's plus one third of b okay whoops what am i doing one <laughs> third of b okay plus one third of b so there's the vector the position vector of the point e which is known as o to e okay let me just make that neater All right, then it says part C. It says find in terms of A and B the vector from E to B. From E to B. So you could do this in numerous ways. Um, we already know what O to E is. You could find what you can say it's, o, it's E to O plus O to B if you want. Okay, if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Or you could make it a bit easier maybe. You could just say it's from E to this point here plus that point to B. So you can see we've got to go minus a half of A because it's three sections. So you can say that's minus a half of A. Okay, because you're going the opposite direction to A. And then you're going to go two sections along um, B. So it's that's going to be two thirds of B. Okay, because this is made up of two out of six, which is, um, sorry, four out of six, which is two thirds. So you're going to go from E to this point here and from this point to B, which is uh, 4 6 or 2 thirds of B. So minus half A plus 2 thirds of B. So that's your answer. Minus a half A plus 2 thirds of B. Always write your final answer in the space provided. Always do that. Make your life, make the examiner's life easy for him. Okay, so that's a half a plus a third b for part b, and minus a half a plus two thirds b for part c.